Balancing a redox reaction in a basic solution. Balance the following oxidation reduction reaction. We are going to use the half reaction method. This is a systematic method that makes sure we get the right answer every time, if done correctly. We start by separating the equation in two. The chlorine is reduced from positive 7 to an oxidation state of positive 1. This is the first half reaction. The oxygen in the peroxide is oxidized from negative 1 to 0, and this is the second half reaction. For most cases, we can simply separate the two reactants and pair them with the product that contains the same elements without considering the oxygens and hydrogens. So here, the reactant that contains the chlorine will go with the product that also has the chlorine in it. The other reactant and product will form the other half reaction. We will balance the first half reaction on the left. We start by balancing the elements other than oxygen and hydrogen. There are two chlorine atoms on the left side and only one on the right, so we double the product. Now we have two chlorine atoms on each side. Now we balance the oxygens by adding water molecules. There are seven oxygens on the left and only four on the right, so we add three H2Os to the right side. Now we have seven oxygens on each side. Next, we can balance the hydrogens by adding protons. There are six hydrogens on the right side of the equation and none on the left, so by adding six H plus ions to the left side, we are able to balance the equation. Because we're in a basic solution, we have an extra step to do. We have to add as many OH minus ions to both sides of the equation as we added H plus ions on the one side. On the side that we have both H plus and OH minus ions, we form water. This cancels the H plus ions that we added. Now we only have OH minus ions on the other side, which is how our reaction is in a basic solution. The other atoms of chlorine, oxygen, and hydrogen are still balanced. We simplify the number of water molecules in the equation. We have six on the left and three on the right, so we subtract three from each side so that we're left with only three on the left. We have to now balance the charges by adding electrons onto one side of the equation. Here, the chlorine dioxide and hydroxide molecules are charged. Together, they give the right side of the equation a charge of negative 8, so to balance this we have to add 8 electrons to the left side. From here, if you haven't made any errors, there should be no need to go back and fix any of the coefficients. All the elements and charges should be balanced. Your half reaction should have the water molecules and electrons on the opposite side of the OH minus ions. We repeat the same steps for the other half reaction. The first step is to balance the elements other than H and O, but there aren't any. Next, the oxygens, but they are already balanced. We balance the hydrogens by adding protons. We add the same number of OH minus ions to each side. The H plus and OH minus ions on the same side combine to form water. Now we simplify the number of water molecules, but here no simplification is needed. We balance the charges by adding electrons. Now both half reactions are balanced. To be able to put the half reactions back together, we need to make them have the same number of electrons. To do this, we multiply one or both of the half reactions by the lowest common factor. Here, we have 8 electrons in the first reaction and only 2 in the second. By multiplying the second reaction by 4, we finish with 8 electrons in each, and they can be cancelled. Now we can reassemble the two half reactions. We simplify the molecules and electrons that are present on both sides of the reaction. The order in which this is done is not important. We cancel the electrons on both sides. We have three waters on the left and eight on the right, so we subtract three from both sides to finish with five waters in the products. We have eight OH minus ions on the left and six on the right, so we subtract six from both sides and finish with only two in the reactants. This is our final reaction. It should not be possible to simplify further at this point. The water molecule should be on the opposite side of the OH minus ions. Verify that you have the same number of each element in the reactants as in the products. Check the charges as well. Both sides should have the exact same charge.